whether it be an earthquake or a fire or someone plants a device of whatever sort or God forbid you know somebody comes in with a an arm or a rifle or whatever the case gun you know and we didn't have anything in place and people died uh, I wouldn't be able to live with myself with the kids uh, you know for their Thursday school mass which is our finest hour of the week that we lock the doors you know now so that nobody can come in to the church and we don't allow the backpacks or any of those kinds of things to be brought into the church any longer so we you know have continued to really improve upon our safety and security and today was the opportunity to expose to the parish here is our plan for an evacuation and the only way that we're going to well be skilled at this is to actually practice. Um, I've worked in wildland fire for about 30 years now and, and safety is a pretty big part of the program and, and well, well I think the big thing is just morning. developing a program that uh, people can understand easily why because what you want people to be first and foremost is aware um, uh, and in the case of this environment in the church it's aware of where the uh, the exits are and where they need to go uh, when the time comes. Well, so far it's been very positive. Uh, you know, people recognize that this is part of the program and, and uh, that it's for the welfare of the community. Well, I think the first step is just to come together and start talking about what it is you want to accomplish um, and then uh, make a plan and, and go with it. Preparedness planning um, and preparing for emergencies is, is really kind of a big thing and it's a necessary thing in the world we live in anymore because you never know from one day to the next what's going to happen. And if nothing else, being prepared gives you something of a peace of mind. By almost by definition, houses of worship are open and they're welcoming and they're a place for people should be able to go to um, and, and trying to wall them off in the, in the name of security is, is kind of tough and it kind of runs against what they're supposed to be all about so there's a little bit of tension there the steps that you may take in terms of posting guards or something like that it, it's, it's it's a tough step to take for us so you talked about the shootings at the synagogue and, and it's a tough subject um, but I don't think I mean, Father Mike's sermon today is about, you know, not being fearful and being at peace. And, and, and I think that's key, is we have to meet the world with peace in our hearts. Think for a moment. When Jesus appeared to whomever after he rose from the dead, his first words were, peace be with you. Not anything about fear. I think it's a good idea that we have these uh, drills periodically so that people remember, you know, if you ever do have an emergency, we'll know what to do. Uh, well, the ministers of hospitality are supposed to be the ones that make sure that the sections... People different... find the closest exit. Yeah, and, and everybody gets out. I think it's a good idea to have it. I mean, you know, you read about the persecution of the church in many places and everybody thinks something like that could never happen here. Because with today's climate, today's world, then we have to be prepared and uh, for any type of an emergency. The uh, parish school here, the grammar school, they have their fire drills and then we must do the same with regards to the parish at large. Uh, as I've said to you know the people and all of our parents and parishioners, my first responsibility as a parish priest here is their safety and their welfare. We've had some incidences just recently where somebody walks into the church and you know down the aisle and you know uh, create some disturbance and as a result you know it's just an indicator who knows what could happen there are some things we're going to obviously learn from today's uh, evacuation of, uh, of all the people and we'll continue to improve but we have to be prepared then we have members of safety and security committee who are at the entrances and exits to all of our facilities so that if somebody comes in that does not look familiar to us then we ask you know are you a member of the parish here and you're welcome but here's what we're trying to do quite frankly I would have to say that I'm not going to cheat on this safety and security for people feeling a sense of welcome <laughs>